Several of us ministers had an opportunity last year with the assistance of the IDB to visit the MIT Media Lab where we had the opportunity to have discussions and to be exposed to a number of uh, cutting edge technology and processes. And one of the things that uh, excited me the most about that visit is the potential that blockchain technology has to revolutionize the way that we do uh, business in the Bahamas. As uh, the government of the Bahamas, we are committed to taking the way we do business and to taking our country to the future. We want to be the technology leaders in this region, if not globally. The way that we can use this technology to improve the quality and efficiency of our daily lives. We are very pleased to partner with the country under the vision and leadership of the Deputy Prime Minister, with the partners at MIT to share this knowledge with you all. The ITV is about improving lives. We believe that knowledge, technology, and innovation are key tools towards that end. What's special is about how it's run that without using a central company again, you've got thousands of participants that think the service is worthwhile, that want to participate in it, and so they lend their computers, they lend their resources to help run the service in a network um, of participants that runs all over the world. It's a data structure, um, like a database, but it has a special property in that it's only additive. You can't go back and edit it, you can't append it, you can only add to it. And it's stored in such a way um, that can't be hacked. In today's age, where there's so much debate about facts and people agreeing on facts, um, it's actually a powerful source of truth to say, yes, this transaction happened between these two people at this time, and there's no debating it. The blockchain is simply a data structure meant for storing transactions in a format that cannot be edited. The blockchain is unique because of how it can provide individuals independence. It can give them the power and the privacy of owning their records and only disclosing that information when they choose to share it. Blockchains are not all the same. Different blockchains are architected to solve different problems and as, so, as such, their protocols actually are structured differently. You can think of public blockchains as the internet and private blockchains as an intranet. Most institutions, even in, in the most digitally advanced economies, still use paper-based records uh, for most things. And, and so this is, this is where blockchain technology is actually uh, coming in at a point in time when most institutions are still digitizing. And for this reason, we actually argue that it's possible to combine digitization and the use of the blockchain in a single step. It's important for the Bahamas because technology gives us an opportunity to be able to do things better, to do things easier, to streamline processes, um, to make things more efficient, particularly with respect to governing um, and with respect to doing business. The introduction of blockchain would help to bring efficiency to the process, but at the same time introduce verification. From a trading perspective, um, as I would have shared operating the Nassau Container Port, uh, so much of our business is about moving cargo from an origin to a destination. But there's as much focus on documentation and the verification of that documentation, not just from a port perspective, but also from a government and regulatory perspective. I think a dialogue this is, like this is very important in the Bahamas because it's an opportunity to bring all the member stakeholders around understanding the applications for a new technology like this. In the Bahamas, we sometimes struggle with uh, innovation and, and taking on new initiatives, but for this kind of consultation, for this kind of involvement at this level, I think we're going to see a more strategic development of a plan of how do we use this to meet our mutual goals.